I'm Simon Grimm, creator of Galaxy's Dev, and today's guest is Zach Taylor, a software engineer currently living in Japan. Tell me, tell me the story of. Uh, I think you had this headline somewhere from from broke English teacher to full time software engineer. So how, how did all of that happen? <laughs> yeah, from broke English teacher to protein shake. Awesome. Still kind of broke software engineer, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, at least there's potential to move way up. Definitely, yeah. there's always a step up as a developer. So um, you started out then in Japan as an English teacher in just a regular school or in like a language school?、Uh, elementary schools at first, and it was a great experience. Yeah, it's really fun to do for it, you know maybe a year or two, three years max. But it's not really meant as a career, and、uh, unfortunately, some people kind of. Get stuck over here, and it kind of turns into like a forced career. After five years of it, I realized I'm gonna stay in Japan for the long haul. I've got to do something different. A couple of my friends back in the USA both got master's degrees in computer science, but one of them did like a major change. His undergrad was in some liberal arts, like communications, <laughs> and congratulations. You played yourself. Before I even moved to Japan, they're like, "Hey, you should get into computer science." Well, why did you never consider it? Why did I not consider it? Yeah, I mean, you could have pursued the career earlier already. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was just like when you hear the word software engineer, like that word engineering is scary. I, I was thinking of advanced mathematics and all this crazy <laughs> computer science stuff, and I was just like, no, that that's not for me. I can't do it. Yeah, well, I, I realized I was wrong later when I actually tried it out. I realized, hey, I I can do this. And it's fun, right? So, how, like, what was the first touch point, point of contact with programming, and, and where did you get started? I think the first protein rocks, protein. Really, like this, the seed that got planted in my head is when I went back to visit the USA. I went to work with that one friend, and he was working in a really small startup. And I just sat there all day with him, like I was studying like Japanese language and stuff at an empty desk. Him and his coworkers. Were Coding all day, and that's when I was like, "Man, this job looks really cool, and it's like really chill, and he's making a lot of money." So then, when I went back to Japan, I was getting divorced and just had all these problems. Then, you know, that same friend, he was like, "Hey, why don't you try out Free Code Camp?" He's like, "Just go on there, try out some lessons, build this little cat photo app." See if you enjoy it and could see yourself doing it as a job, and I did. And I spent hours that first day just going through all that HTML and CSS stuff, and I loved it. Yeah, it's it's so unbelievable hard to imagine how it must be to get started with HTML and CSS in, in like 2024. Definitely, it was hard. It was intimidating, and I felt like just light years away from actually getting a job. So, so how did you like get that job? What, what else? You, you said you had probably learned to code for half a year at that point, and then you already. I mean, it, it's exciting that you already felt confident enough to apply for a software engineering job. <laughs> 